the last video in our series on reflexes and ultimately our series on the spinal cord is going to be on the tendon reflex. The tendon reflex is an interesting reflex because it doesn't cause the contraction of your prime mover. It causes the inhibition of that prime mover. So we have these sensory receptors called Golgi tendon organs that, you guessed it, are located near the junction of a tendon with a muscle. And these are going to measure the amount of force that the muscle is creating. So muscle contraction is going to compress that tendon organ and signals are sent to the central nervous system regarding the strength of that muscle contraction. And when this strength, this contraction force is too strong, then the reflex is going to inhibit our lower motor neurons and it causes us to drop our load or at least lessen tension being produced by that muscle. So let's take a look at these steps in our tendon reflex. When our muscle contracts, this produces tension. And as that muscle produces tension, that Golgi tendon organ is going to start sending IPSPs to our lower motor neuron in our spinal cord. When tension is too great, the number of IPSPs cause inhibition of that lower motor neuron, which lessens tension being produced by the muscle as a whole. This may cause you to drop your load if your load exceeds the tension being produced by your muscle, but it protects your muscle from being torn. It protects your bones from having a portion of bone pulled away by excessive muscle contraction. And so it is a protective reflex, but instead of protecting our skin like we were in our withdrawal reflex and our um, crossed extensor reflex, we're protecting our muscle and bones and tendons from damage. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact your instructor.